Now we are back with the short one. I have here with me Afri Afrida Adele. Hi guys. So Afrida, first of all, how was the game week two for you? For me, it was very bad. But then across the board, mm. you can see that it was a terrible week, a very bloody one. Everyone there had less than 100. Mm. Some surprises this weekend. Very huge surprises. How about the ball game of PS series? Did you notice any shuffle, anything in the shuffle? Yeah, I mean, all the top three managers last week were nowhere to be found. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even surprised. One. I'm not even surprised. Yes. And even before the West Ham game, I think we were looking at the table and we noticed that um, Sands FC was still seventh before yes. the West Ham game. But after the yeah. West Ham game, that made him the third person out of the top three managers to be missing on the Bog UK Fio series, top 50. How, wow. how, how amazing is that? And that will be all for the shuffle and we, as we gave it to you, the managers of the week. Congratulations once again. I would like to welcome Ayala back to the show. Looking ahead to game week three, mm. from the lineup of fixtures, we are, we, are, <laughs> we are starting at the Etihad. Ateta is visiting okay. the Etihad. So he's master versus student. You can see that, yeah. It, that, that's the right narrative. So <laughs> if your student was getting F9 every week. I mean, I mean, I mean, this is the turnaround. Oh, this is the turnaround game. This is the turnaround game. Oh, okay, I so like people just pity him. I know. But do you, do you know what I know anything mm. about this game? Pep does this thing every time. I don't know. And I, and I think that's why um, there's still hope for Ateta. Or people still have hope for Ateta. He does this thing where faces Ateta, Arsenal plays woefully, mm. play terribly. And managed to win. And not, no, not even managed to win. Mm. Ateta has beaten um, Pep just once mm -hmm. out of how many, how, many, how many times. Now, Ateta will lose the game, Arsenal will play nonsense. Then in the press conference, Pep will start hyping him up in the post. Oh, no, he says that about and, everybody. No, come on. Ateta everybody zone, he beats. Ateta zone, Ateta zone should be different. Fact, there has to be a bit of honesty. The higher the, higher the beating count, if it's 4-0, you are an exceptional team. 5-0, you are a great team. Wow. 6-0, but... Like that, like that. Arsenal is not exceptional or great. So are you trying to say that we're going to... What are you trying to say, basically? That you're going to be an exceptional team on Saturday. So we're collecting four. <laughs> because... <laughs> I, I, I would really be annoyed if I'm watching the post-match interview mm. and Guardiola is like trying to encourage Ateta. Don't, don't do that. Uh, that. But that's the human thing to do. At this point, collecting from Brentford is not human. It's, 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 it's okay, no common. Nice. Next, we have another thriller of a game this weekend. Mm. Liverpool against Chelsea. Yes. So, we're we'll probably going to see a first loss of this season. Is it possible? For, I, for I don't any know. of them. Oh, for any of them, it's possible. Mm. But usually, these kind of games end as a draw. Exactly, I think this, 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 the end of the draw. it looks more likely to be a draw than, a, than anything else. And like I said earlier in the show, we're going to see if Van Dijk can handle, handle Lukaku, Lukaku, right? So it is, a, it is a must watch and it's going to be very oh, interesting. Man. I'm looking at all the fixtures and I can't really see where the goals are going to come from. I mean, West Ham... Apart from Man City, Arsenal, obviously. Man City, Arsenal, I, 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 love goals. Like I said in the, like Villa, I said in the previous show, mm. Arsenal will perform a miracle. Aston Villa Brentford is another tight one. I mean, Brighton Everton. I mean, that's another tight one because Everton are not going to come out under Benitez the way you'd have expected them to normally come out under. Actually, you have a point. You have a and point. Brighton aren't especially known for conceding a lot of chances, so that's another tight one. I think so, guys, this might be the week to invest in defenders. Just might. The casting here, if you are, if you need examples. Mm. I mean, he could pull a few points this maybe, weekend. Maybe. Also, West Ham, Crystal Palace. Do you think mm. Antonio is going to continue his fine form? Well, I mean, I think Vieira hasn't found his feet yet. So, we can't really look beyond Antonio. And it's interesting, Rama. it is very interesting to note that Mikhail Antonio is actually the highest, is actually the player with the most points in the FPL so far, mm -hmm. with 24 points. Yeah. Two goals in the previous game, in fact, was... I was quite impressed, and now he's West Ham's all-time leading, leading goal scorer. And and he's also the player with the most goal contributions in the Premier League. To think when when they tell you West Ham's all-time goal scorer is Andy Carroll that comes to my mind. Honestly, why he barely even played? I, I don't I don't know why. I never really thought about it, but yeah, just a hitter. It comes it comes to mind. Anywho, we did we learned about fixtures. Who mm. what player are you recommending for our community yeah, to I'm have? Recommending. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think 
Man City defenders. I think Ederson as well. I, I no shade, no shade, I, no shade. Don't worry, no shade. I get shade. it, I get it. It's one of those things. Um, he will already had 11 points last weekend. Might do something similar again this weekend. Uh, who else? Well, suppose I wait uh, at home to Watford. Suppose I at home to Watford. It's possible. So, mm, it's very, possible. Very, very possible. Um, who else? Who else? Newcastle, Southampton. Any Newcastle defender you can get your hands on. They are all cheap. Maybe Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie. Yeah, Matt Ritchie is a very is a defender. Is always in the game. Is always mm. involved in the game. In the game exactly. When he's playing with Newcastle, so Sa- that's Southampton defenders as well. I think that game is going to be a low scoring game. Might end in a nil nil draw. Any my you player you are suggesting? My you are away to Wolves. Yes, yes, yes. United, United. Apart from keeping Bruno in your team at all times as a feel safe. I don't think um, any other Man U player really comes to mind like that. I mean, I, I would think missing Greenwood. Greenwood is an excellent option for midfield, considering he's actually a striker. So, if you do have Greenwood or Jota, players like that who aren't in their real position on oh, FPL, their main position. they're always a boost for your team. I mean, Jota, two games, mm-hmm. two goals. Same with Greenwood. Price is and rising every week. 7.5 million. So, I mean, 7.6 now. Oh wow! Jota is seven point six now. Yeah. Wow, that's very impressive. That for his price to go up, obviously, you know that this guy is bagging in the points, and mm-hmm. you do not want to, because even yesterday after the West Ham game, I was lamenting that why don't I have yes, the, Antonio? The L in FPL is why, for lamentation. Why don't so I have Antonio? Something you're going to get used. And to. I'm really hoping Patrick Bamford picks up this weekend. I I I'm I'm desperate. Well, I'm maybe, very desperate maybe, for him to pick maybe. up this weekend against Burnley. Mm. I mean, maybe not. I said earlier in the show that he should have scored. He should have. Yes, I'm going to say it again. He gave this guy he's a striker. Is. He's a striker. A striker's mentality is to finish the ball once in the box. It can never say. But he can assisted. Never, I mean, ever he's, not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not a stingy player. That's kudos to you on that. But okay. please, Next I beg you, bang in some goals. So let us know who you are bringing into your squad in yes. the community. Go to www.bogeco.com forward slash fantasy and join the conversation. Share your insights. What do you need? You can talk to other people in the community. What do you need for your team? What are you suggesting for other people? And we wish you the best in game week three. See you next time.